Hi guys, I'm coming at you today with another hamster haul of a lot of products I bought because in the next week or two we have a hamster secret coming up but you will, I will film that and you'll see that in a couple of weeks but for now, let's get on and have a look at what I bought today Right, so the first product we've got is the Pets at Home Medium Cage we've got this plastic one now for Nugget um, the base of it is a bit larger than her cage now the only difference is it doesn't have the levels we've had to get her this because she is a notorious bar chewer to the point where she's squeaking and I think she's hurting herself so we've got this one now to keep her a little bit safer I'm not sure on the minimum for floor space but it is bigger than our UK minimum so she should have fun with that it comes with a wheel this wheel is far far too small which it is far far too small so I'll take it off in a minute and I'll show you that so as you see this is a very very small wheel they say it's suitable for Syrian but I would never give this to a Syrian hamster at all and plus it's very cheap and flimsy made so we won't be using that the water bottle that came with it again I won't be using because it leaks I do have a new pets at home one here this cage comes with this little thing here, it comes on and off, um, so it comes with a little hidey hole. Tiny little bowl again which I might put some treats in there just so she can't get stuck in the little hole. Again, I'd prefer to give her a different bowl. We got this, I'm not going to show you because this is part of the secret hamster uh, coming in a week or two, but if anybody's got any guesses to what it is, let me know in the comments below. We've got a little hamster gnawing, gnawing stick. This is the token gnaw. It is. It was one pound. Oh, this whole cage again. I forgot to say is twenty two pound. So really good deal. This we said was a pound. The hamster wheel is five pound and forty two pence. The seesaw was three pound and 17 pence um these are on offer at three for two so that's why we got it a little bit more cheaper give it to my partner for him to put together we got a nice new bowl this was one pound and i got a selection of treats okay what they are these are on offer <coughs> excuse me these were on offer uh three for two they work at about 96 to 97p each we've got the these ones are biscuits with ra raspberry and cranberry they're little uh little treats they look like uh little cupcakes these ones i think will be her favorite because she loves banana treats these are banana with pecans and they look like little cookies we got some oatmeal crisps with maple syrup again these just look like little cookies and then these are biscuit rings with parsley that look like little donuts now i'm not 100 sure if she will enjoy these because she doesn't eat any of her herby salads but these these could be good and i like these treats especially because they are made in the uk so i know they're not being shipped around and again i don't overfeed their treats but i do make sure hamsters have treats now these are some woodland loafer chews these are two pound for the packet of three here now i've got these for past hamsters and they have loved it again we've getting these for nugget because we are trying something trying to find anything that she would chew on that is not metal bars and of course putting her in this cage now she won't have the option to chew on it we got a big big bag of paper flakes bedding now normally i would just shred tissue paper uh, like toilet roll but I've got one of these just to have on hand in case I'm ever short and I need it and I've got a small bale of wood shavings this is to put in her cage next time I clean her 
I prefer to get the small ones because I use exactly half a bag every single time. And the last thing I got for her is these are her complete favourite treats. These are the banana niblets. They are simply just dried honey, uh, dried bananas with honey coating. So again, not too great for her because they're covered in honey, but they are again just dried bananas, so they're not too bad. Everything here is from Pets at Home, apart from these niblets. These uh, are from a shop called The Range in the UK. They're one pound and twenty nine p. Well, I forgot to mention the sawdust was ninety nine p, and the bedding was three pound and ninety nine pence. So super super cheap for the amount that you get. And I will probably fill this entire layer with bedding. So she's got all this cage then for her toys and a little bit of an area to run around. We'll probably keep, we're going to put her wheel that she's currently got into here. She does not need a new wheel. She's got a flyer saucer and she's got her toys and her houses. Again, these will also go into this box. And I think the seesaw is now put together. So if we'll have a look at that. We'll put it just here. So we'll put it down and she can just walk along it. I'm not sure if she's going to play with that. But I myself think this is uh, rather cute. And it should be more than big enough for her to play with. So I'll pause this video here. I'll set up the cage. And I'll show you exactly how... I'm going to set up Chicken Nugget's new hamster cage. So here it is guys, this is going to be her basic setup. She's got, as you can see, her bedding is piled up down there. Uh, she's got her food bowl, might keep that for treats, maybe a little bit of salad, but for the most part that's going to stay empty because I don't want her to get stuck. She's got a seesaw, her wheel, which is a lot bigger, I'll show you actually in comparison to the one that you get with the cage. So as you see, this is the one that comes with the cage and you can see if I put it over the top there how much extra room she has got. Although they say this is suitable for Syrian, again, we're going to throw it over there and not use it. So she's got, yep, she's got a seesaw, her wheel. She's got a second hideaway that I put down here with a little bit of toilet roll in. She will, she might hide in here, she might not, but it gives her the option of over here or over here. This hideaway is actually from a shop called the Ti uh, Tiny Hamster Paws, which, again, I do have a subscription box for that coming up in the future, so I will show you that when I get it. But this wasn't in the box. This was a separate item I bought, I think, including postage. It was about £8. She's got one of her loofah chews, her new chew here. She would also, obviously, have her food bowl filled up, but... I don't want to take her food away from her cage at the moment, just in case she wakes up while I'm filming this. But I did try to take her out of her cage to put her straight in this one to show you, but she was having none of it and would not wake up, so we're going to leave her. So we'll fill this up when she's ready to get up and wander around, because she generally will wake up, eat her food, maybe go back to bed. So we'll fill this up with the food that she's currently got when she decides to come out. And then... We'll see what she thinks of her new cage. I'm sure she won't be too happy because she's got not many levels to climb on. But again, like I said at the beginning, this is a much, much safer cage for her because she cannot pull on the bars or gnaw on the bars until she's hurting herself. So this is, yeah, this is uh, Chicken Nugget's new cage. She has a couple of inches of bed and you can see that's uh, quite quite deep if I try to find the bottom there. It's nice and deep. She can burrow in it. I'm going to hide a couple of treats, bury a few of them over here around her wheel in the sawdust so she has to dig for them. I'll put a couple of uh, favourite treats in her bed to find and I'll put some up on this level. So I will catch you in the next video and hopefully you will see Chicken Nugget in this new cage and the super secret hamster si uh, surprise that's coming up soon. See you later guys. Hi guys, I thought I'd just come on in here to do a little update nugget has been put in her house a new little cage and as you can see she's very happy she has nice big full 
cheeks because I gave her a couple of treats. And yeah, she's been in there about 10 minutes now. She's quite happy. She's found her, found all of her treats. She will find them and then she'll, uh, she'll put them in her bed later. She's happy. She's found her water. She's found her house. She's found her food. And now she's just having a little wander around. A little smell just to find out where everything is. And then she'll probably have a run around for a few hours and most likely go back to bed. So I'll keep you updated. And I'll see you on the next vlog, guys. Oh, and now she's gone to bed. So I'll see you in the next vlog, guys. Bye.